specifically, and it really is about Indigenous people's right to self-determination. And this crosses all boards. This is, is finally now becoming part of our everyday vernacular. People are hearing this language. People are starting to say it. And in that declaration, uh, there's a, the United Nations has a declaration of the rights of Indigenous people. I encourage, if you haven't heard of it before, uh, to at least take a look at what that means. This is a global uh, declaration that talks about the rights that Indigenous people have around the world. And of course, this one specifically is around self-determination. And that self-determination has to include research. It has to include what's being done in our communities, what information is being extracted from our communities, what benefits are coming back, if any, to our communities. Why are researchers or why are communities saying no to researchers when the researcher offers nothing back? There's all these places that we're trying to work through to kind of understand that perspective. And so the, the UN Declaration was adopted in 2007. Uh, but at that time, it was rejected by four major players in the world, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and the US. And it was actually that in May of this year, so almost a decade later, uh, that Canada has adopted the UN Declaration. But as tends to happen often, it was only about six weeks after that, that our Justice Minister told us it wasn't workable within the Canadian context, within our current legal system. And so still again, right, we're seeing this idea that we may say one thing, but then what we're doing doesn't always match what we're saying.